Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a new um, cross watcher spread. So if you are um, an ex of a sun, moon, rising or Venus sign Aquarius, this reading will be for you. Um, uh, I just ask that you leave a comment in the box below. Let me know if you like it or not because I'm going to go by majority. If we like it, we keep it. If we don't, we throw it out. So um, just please uh, give me your input. Also, make sure you like the video of your zodiac signs because that's how I list um, the order in which my new videos are released. So let's see what Aquarius is up to, where they're at, what they're doing, and if they're coming back. Spirit and Angels, what can you tell us about our ex Aquariuses? Oh. All right, they're still dealing with some heartbreak. Um, yeah, they're just, they're almost at the end of their uh, end of a cycle um, where they just have been carrying the whole weight of this um, relationship or the ending of all on their shoulders. They feel like they're to blame. Um, there is a fire sign uh, female in their energy who is trying to help them through this heartbreak. Um, they're dealing with a lot of internal um, conflict within within their own mind. They want to give you another chance, but they don't want to be hurt again. There's also outside competition as far as um, other people that want to date this Aquarius as well. Yeah, they have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. They're dealing with a lot of a lot of stuff. Losing sleep, depressed, sad, um, a lot of tears, cried. Why is the let's see here, Wheel of Fortune here? And the Sun. And the is that all the major arcana? I'm gonna go ahead and clarify the uh, court cards as well. Why is the Queen of Wands here? And the King of Pentacles. All right. I figured I might as well get them all out of there anyways. We're just going to clarify them all here. Okay, and one card per row to sum up the situation. Okay, we do have the sun here again. All right. Okay, so like I said, um, your Aquarius ex is still heartbroken over the whole situation, over the ending of this relationship. This is someone you've been with a long time. You had a lot emotionally invested in this person, and now they're just drained. You could have children with them, um, but not necessarily. Uh, this is just emotional, um, intense heartbreak over, over the loss of this relationship. Um, they, like I said, are about to the end of their cycle, but not quite They're They're not quite ready to let it go yet. They still have the weight of this, um, weighing on their mind, on their shoulders. Um, they're resting. They're trying to, um, they're trying to get over this. They're trying to get past it. They are taking a step back and resting and trying to recover, but, um, they're just not ready to let that, that, uh, be dealt with yet. They're still trying to bury it. Um, and not have to face it, deal with it, because it hurts so bad. A uh, fire sign um, could be either you, the ex, or have something to do with this. Could have been a third party, because you do have the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups here. But um, whoever this person is in their energy is causing them um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of tears, a lot of sleepless nights, depression, um, extreme sadness. Uh, not being able to get out of their, get them out of their thoughts. The uh, overall uh, energy for the row is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So they were hoping that um, an Earth sign would come forward and and make them an offer, 
but uh, there's something delaying this, and it's the the need to heal. Um, like I said, there's a lot of internal conflict within, also competition, wanting to have a chance to um, give their cup to this person, wanting to, um, yeah, wanting to fulfill them emotionally, but they are blocking everybody out right now. The Wheel of Fortune is um, coming in for them. They are on the upside of the swing, so um, they will successfully move past this. They will successfully um, be able to move on, to move forward um, single, and to e escape this intense uh, hurt, pain. Could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer with the Chariot that is the one causing the problem, especially with the Queen of Wands there. The Sun is here. So, like I said, with that karmic wheel turning, things are coming to light to this person. Um, the King of Wands is here in reverse. So this person really flipped their world upside down. Um, but the sun is here to guide them. They're, they're going to be led spiritually um, in a way to be healed, um, to relieve them of some of this, this pain, this heartache. They, uh, they're no longer going to put everything they have into this relationship, defend it no matter what. Um, because the connection is lost. The, the, the betrayal is already there. Um, here's the King of Pentacles again in reverse. So they were waiting on an earth sign, um, not coming in. They're being blocked. Um, this could be financial too. They're financially unstable due to this heartache. It's affecting their whole life. They can't concentrate at work because all they can think about is this person. They can't concentrate, um, at home to get, you know, work done at the house because all they're concentrating is the heartbreak. So there could be a loss of stability, a loss of uh, a job possibly, because this betrayal is just overtaking them. Um, once again, they're almost to the end of the cycle, but they're just not ready to let it go because it, this really shook them up. It shook their foundation to the core. Um, they they honestly can't see their life without you or this other person x in their picture in their life because they're not they're not past that point yet they're still in the raw open wound stage this just happened uh for this group of you um with the three of cups there and the three of swords twice we do have a third party and that's what destroyed them they're not getting the um opportunity to create something new with you to create a life of a love and abundance like they originally had um, intended to do as you did as well. Um, you could have left them for a third party or their partner left them for a third party, but there is three energies here that I'm picking up on a fire sign and an earth sign are the two other, uh, signs here with Aquarius. Um, once again, the sun is here, so they are going to, um, find the warmth again. They are going to feel the sun at their back and guiding them in a way to, um, to receive this healing. Um, right now though, they're just this, you or this other person is just stuck in their head. They can't get, they can't get past that. They can't think of anything but this situation. And they're going to try to reach out and communicate to you, um, about what happened about, they need answers. They want answers and they just don't feel like they can, get past this without those answers. Why is the tower here clarifying the ten of swords in reverse? Whoa. Way too many. There we go. Yeah, they uh, they did some digging of their own. They tried to get some information on what had happened with the betrayal and they're finding out even more information and it's bringing their tower down all over again. Um, opening this heartache up. Um, it's not something that happened just now. This is something that happened in the past, but they didn't know about it. Why is the Empress in reverse here? So, um, but yeah, the chariot, the wheel of fortune, the chariot, it's being clarified by the two of wands. So they're at a crossroads and the wheel of fortune is going to help push them in the, in the right direction, um, to being single and working on their own self. 
um, with the Empress in reverse, the Three of Cups, they are not being granted the opportunity to um, to create something new with you. And yeah, and they're going within. They're trying to dig up the truth within their own heart. What happened? What went wrong? What did I do? Um, they're in that stage of asking, you know, what it was that, that they did, what they could have done different. This is a really sad energy for this Aquarius um, group. Yeah. And then there's children involved to boot. Like I said, this per you could have children with this person. Um, your love life is being affected by children. So there is, um, there is for a group of you children involved um, in this uh, broken relationship. And that's what they are heartbroken for as well. They are um, sad for the kids, sad that this isn't going to work out, sad that they that they can't create this this new beginning, this family, and um, and be with you uh, till you grow old. Um, I do see, yeah, I see the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So Earth sign, Fire sign, and Aquarius's energy uh, this week. Um, not much movement from Aquarius guys. Um, they're still dealing with the heartbreak. It's still fresh to them. It's still an open wound. So um, that's what your Aquarius exes are up to. Um, make sure you like and comment on this video if you want me to continue doing these. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if we decide to keep them, I will be back next week giving you an update on their energy, where they're at, where they're going, and if they're coming back. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already a um, subscriber to my channel. Uh, if you're new, welcome. I hope you stick around. If you're returning, thank you once again for your continuous support. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.